be recording, but I don't know. Hi. So, um, booga booga. So, basically, I'm just gonna sum this shit up real fast. Uh, I made a new game. Now, here, let me, just, just let me, can I open Roblox directly? Uh, whatever, I'll just do the screen capture. Hello. <coughs> so, <coughs> Lord, so it's basically, it's called, um, I mean, you can see up there the U.S. military and the Viet Cong, but it's called, let's actually rock over to it, it is Nam 1964, but it's actually, like, it's basically the Vietnam War, um, kind of, there's game passes, I, I suggest you guys go buy these game passes, because as of right now, uh, if you look at them, they are on sale for a bit, and they're going to be on sale for, I suggest you get this one, it's a lemon rock, uh, it's 75% off, and you get some pretty nice things from them. <coughs> There's going to be a fifth game pass um, tomorrow, so that one's going to be on sale too, but yeah. So... Oh. I'm gonna just showcase you all the guns <coughs> and everything. So, the map is basically just a lot of jungle. Like, a shit ton of jungle. Um, there's this little tower right here that you can climb up on for kind of an advantage point, which is pretty badass. You can get on the flag, and then I think. No, you can't, you can't parkour, parkour up there because it's a little sus. <coughs> but. There's like really dense jungle and shit. There's a crashed helicopter. There's <coughs> there's a lot of shit. So we're gonna test out the guns and I'm gonna show you what the guns are. So this is the M1 Grand. Uh, this is one of the guns that you can get naturally. Like you don't have to buy anything for the Game Pass. You just get one of these. Um, it sounds like this. But it sounds like that. And then there's the M1 Thompson. It's another one of the natural guns that you get without spending any money. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, then you got the Itheca 37 or whatever, which is the only shotgun in the game. But it's a pretty good one. <coughs> it's a pretty good shotgun. And then moving on to the, I'm gonna go cheap to highest. So, the pistol game passes, which you've got the M1911. All right, then you've got the Weebly. And then you've got the Luger. <coughs> moving up, we got the PPSH. personal favorite. Moving up one more, you've got the Mosin Nagant. I'm moving up to the highest, like, a hundred Robux per, um, the Browning M1919. Don't worry, it keeps going. It's not done yet. Are we there yet? I don't think we're ever gonna get there. <coughs> I'm gonna die before this thing ends. Finally. It's got 250 bullets now. It's whack. Each bullet doing... Alright, so the M1 Grand does about 45 damage per. M1 Thompson does about 20 damage per. I think it does about 10 damage per pellet, and it shoots 10 pellets, which is very good. The M1911 does 20 damage per. The, uh, this little thing does 15 damage per. Uh, the Luger does, I believe, 25 damage. No, the Luger and the M1911 both do 25 damage per. The Weebly does, I believe, either 30 or 35 damage per. Um, the PPSH, I can't, t I, I can't remember if it does 15 or 20, but it does somewhere around that. <clears throat> and then the Mosin does 90 damage. 
well, 90 damage at a range of, like, that. But if you're, like, right up here, like, I believe it's, like, from here to that tent is where it's the full damage. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's show you around the spawn. So, if you zoom out of the, the, the thing, you can see the whole map, which is basically this. Um... The spawns are over there. There's a couple spawns there and shit. There's... This is the main Viet Cong spawn. So... <coughs> over here is where the, the Viet Cong spawn. Um, you can hide in bushes, which is pretty badass. Um, there's a little hut here and shit. There's this little hut. There's a lot of huts, okay. There's also a day-night cycle, which is pretty badass. Um, there's this little rock over here. There's a bunch of trees. Way too many trees, okay? Just way too many. There's this little thing, which ha which is accompanied by a spawn. I don't know where the spawn is, but it's there. Obviously, the main post, which... I don't know why, but I tend to find a lot of people over here, you know, just vibing. Oh, by the way, night nighttime is... If you think nighttime's a little too dark, that's, that's the point. It only lasts, like, a maximum of two minutes. But it, it's meant to, like, randomly come during a war battle and have you kind of relocate. And then, like, when you relocate, you're meant to just kind of nene somebody because they don't they won't know where you came from. You go, pa 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 and then they're dead. <coughs> but yeah, um, that's basically the gist of the game. <coughs> it's pretty good. It's actually likely one of my best games I've made, because, I mean, just the way it's made, custom clothes and all that shit. There's ragdoll physics, which I don't think you actually saw. Yeah, ragdoll physics, you go down there and then you bleed out. I don't know if you can see the blood up there, but there's blood. <coughs> um, but, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, vibe champ. This is Nam. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's gonna be a sale with up to fucking 75% off the release sale or whatever. And, um, uh, ugh. if you guys wanna go get that, I suggest you go get that. I think the next sale is gonna be either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Probably Thanksgiving. I don't know about that. <coughs> Probably. Alright, well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Gizmo, and, um... Bye-bye. Whack-ass. Booga-booga-booga.